What's up guys, Adopt Me Guy, new update, the Let's Go Camping update of new possum, new van, a furniture pack. Let's go check out everything new in this update. So with the furniture, they call this what, the eco-friendly furniture pack? And I think this stuff's pretty cool. It's basically like a brown and pink normal furniture. I don't find anything too special about it. But in my opinion, this pack I thought was like a homeless pack. I know that might be a weird thing to say, but it's like stuff like a plant in a boot. Some of it's just like um, little beds inside of um, containers, and some of it's just like a piece of wood. So I really felt like this is like a homeless encampment pack. And I know obviously, you know, Adopt Me wouldn't say that, but it's supposed to be the eco-friendly pack. And to be honest, it's all right. It's pretty cool. I like it enough, but I really don't have room in my dome anymore. I've put down every pack for like the last six months. I'm just running out of room. I wish I had bigger space, but I just love the dome so much. I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm so happy the red bridge is back. I like the rain a lot, but I did miss this epic red bridge and adopt me. So here we are and oh, I'm already r running over the new possum. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering where it was, it's not actually the campsite itself that got updated. It's actually the best shop ever. And even the outside of the shop didn't get updated. It's the inside of the shop. So let's check her out. Um, starting with Burnt. Burnt's still here, which is cool. He has a new outfit, but they have the normal fire pit you can buy and purchase this stuff, which is really cool. And of course, they have the new pets. The Firefly, which is really cool. And uh, we can't get him because he's 500 Robux, but they have this new possum, which we can get because he's only $800 in game. And to be honest, he's pretty cute. So not only it has that little area, it has this whole new little camping area. And I think it would have been cool if they actually had put this outside. But nonetheless, they have this cool wheelbarrow stroller. I actually have to check and see if I have it. Because to be honest, this stuff here is new. But my problem with this stuff is a lot of it looks exactly the same as the previous stuff. But it may be only like slightly changed. And I really find that to be kind of annoying because I personally don't want to repurchase stuff that looks exactly the same. Like let's, let's look up these bongos really quick. I'll give you an example. All the items are kind of like this. So, so here are the original uncommon bongos. And here are the new ones. You guys see how they're like exactly the same, but they just have a different name? And I find that to be just a little too much. The same with this little camping thing right here. Buy camper's tent for $1,200. But we already have a camper's tent. But they just kind of like changed the name of it. Same with the guitar, same with the other stuff. So in my opinion, there's only a few new items here. I do love this car though. It reminds me of the mystery van. I wasn't here for it, but they had like a Scooby-Doo update where you could get the mystery van and have Scooby-Doo for a limited time. I wish it was still there, but I really do like that mystery van. Although it kind of costs a little too much at 3K, and I wish that they would kind of get their own shop so you could like change the colors and you can change your vehicles like that. Maybe even change the speed of them. Maybe that's a bit too much, but it'd be cool to actually have a custom color shop for all the vehicles, but maybe I'm wishing for a little too much. So I do like this update. I really, really do, but I just wish the toys weren't basically new toys. They were copies of old toys because that's a little too much for me, but I do like the sparkler. That seems to be something new, <laughs> but it does only seem like there's honestly three or four new toys and the rest are just copies. So let's check out the neon colors of the two new pets. So I I'm obviously don't have a maid yet, but we can go to the nifty journal here and see them right away. So here's the uncommon possum. Oh, it's blue. That's so pretty. Honestly, seeing how he's uncommon and he's only 800, I might make him. So let's check out the firefly really quick. And oh, that pink's so pretty too. Too bad he's a legendary and super hard to get. I'd probably make him, but he is so pretty. If I didn't have so many legendary pets that I was waiting to make, I totally, totally would make the Firefly. He's really, really, really cute. So let's check out the new ride. Now this new ride, as I mentioned before, it really looks cool. It reminds me of like the mystery van from Scooby-Doo when they had that um, update for the Scooby-Doo movie. I wish I was around when the update came out because I would have loved to get that van. I still wish the stuff stayed. I would love to have Scooby-Doo. I would have definitely made his mega. But nonetheless, I like this van. It's such a vibe. Does it have like a solar panel on top of it? Is that what that's supposed to be? But it just cruises at a pretty good speed. It turns at a pretty good speed. But as I said before, I just wish that they had 
a vehicle shop that didn't just sell vehicles, that you could actually enhance your vehicles and, and like make them faster, maybe change the wheel size, and most importantly, change the colors. But overall, I love this new vehicle. So what do you guys think of the new update? I thought it was totally fun. I like the new stuff. It's not the biggest update ever, but they can't have huge updates on every single update. But still, it was really fun. So keep it locked to the only channel where dust can fly. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace. Why, hello there. You made it to the end of the show. I want to say thank you for watching that video all the way through. If you want to support us more, we have this thanks button now on most all the videos. You can throw us a couple dollars, kind of like a tip that says you like the video. We appreciate all the help we can get, and it's been really tough here on YouTube lately, so anything would help. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for flying with us, and we'll talk to you guys later. Dusk and fly. Like, subscribe. Peace.